Welcome to part two. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, so after kind of learning about uh, the forging process on axe, axe heads, the drop forge Swedish axes um, are one of some of the nicest around. And this is an this is a uh, S A W uh, Wetterling's Swedish drop forged axe. It's a hatchet head. You can see the difference. So this is the two and a quarter pound boys axe. This is the hatchet head, and over here is the three and a half pound. So you can kind of see the difference there. All right. So this is the, you're going to be chopping, splitting, felling. You can fell with this axe. Uh, this is going to be a nice kindling axe, small, small tree, limbing type axe uh, around the house. Probably get some stuff done. And this is like your hatchet, hand hatchet for, you know, even like wood carving, camping, uh, hunting, things like that. Uh, actually, both of these are probably going to be uh, good for any of those. Uh, depending on what you prefer. So, but these, when these were covered with rust, I took the wire brush off the, on the drill today and I just kind of pounded them out with that wire brush and they shined up, they shined up pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with, with that. You can see the, kind of the beating that these have taken over the years. Uh, this has got some gouges here. Who the hell knows what we were doing with them back uh, 30 years ago. Uh, but I live, I've lived here for 40 years and we have a heavily wooded area out back and we have tree, we've had trees fall. We've taken down trees over the years. Uh, we've had, uh, we have a fireplace, so we're splitting wood and, um, campfires. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I've got a campfire going every weekend when I'm not at work. I'm, I'm hanging out by the campfire. I'm splitting kindling, all kinds of stuff. You name it. I mean, it's just the whole aspect of wood has been a part of my life, my whole life. So, but uh, this was really a surprise. I'm really, it's really cool to find this uh, after learning about uh, uh, just kind of the history and 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 things about about different axe heads, but. Uh, the power craft is one that I'm not too much familiar with. Uh, so I'm going to do some research on that. If you know anything about power craft, let me know. Uh, I, ha I don't see these ever. I don't ever, 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 ever see these power crafts. So, uh, I'm just not real sure. There's no other stampings on it. Uh, I'm not sure that even matters. I mean, this steel seems just as good as, as the Wetterling's hatchet head. So, uh, after I do a little bit more sharpening on this with the file, uh, I think maybe I'll be able to kind of tell the difference. This hatchet head, you can kind of see, uh, has taken quite a beating. Look at that. It looks like it's, I don't know what we were doing with this thing back in the day. But you can see kind of the offset. You see that? You see the the hole there, the eye. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's still usable, and I think I can still uh, rehang this on on a nice hickory handle. So that's what I'm going to do, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, this sucker here, uh, the Craftsman, the steel seems great, man. Um, I was hacking away with it today and it just seems really great. Uh, the, <laughs> the handle's standing up. Uh, I was just out there pounding out some kindling off of some of the split wood. And it's, it's been pretty great. I'm going to take probably, I'm going to take the 